Earth, third planet from the sun, home to all known life, and the only world we know that somehow found the cosmic recipe for just right. Not too hot, not too cold, the perfect place for oceans, clouds, pizza, and every living thing we've discovered so far. Earth sits what scientists call the habitable zone, or more casually, the Goldilocks zone. It's that sweet spot around a star where temperatures let liquid exist as water. Not instantly vaporize it like a mercury, not permanently frozen like Neptune. Water is the universal solvent of life. And our distance from the sun keeps it flowing instead of boiling or freezing solid. But distance alone doesn't make Earth special. Our atmosphere, a mix of nitrogen, oxygen, and a dash of carbon dioxide, acts like the planet's life support system. It holds in warmth, blocks the radiation, and gives us the oxygen we need to breathe. Then there's the Earth's magnetic field, born from molten iron spinning in the core, deflecting deadly solar wind. Without the invisible shield, our atmosphere would be stripped away billions of years ago, just like Mars. Unlike most plants we've studied, Earth's surface never sits still. Plate tectonics constantly recycle the crust, building mountains, triggering earthquakes, and even balancing carbon dioxide levels over time. That slow churning helps stabilize the climate, keeping Earth livable for eons. It's geology doing climate control before it was cool. So when we call Earth the Goldilocks planet, we don't just mean it's comfy, we mean it's rare. Right distance, right air, right chemistry, and somehow all of it worked together to make us. Up next, we'll look at why Earth works and what happens when it doesn't. Stay curious about space.